opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. d5 establishes a presence in the center, controls the e4 square, and opens up the light squared bishop. The queen's gambit offers up a wing pawn to attack the center and distract black from the e4 square. In the Slav defense, c6 supports the d5 pawn. Nf3 controls the e5 square and protects the d4 pawn. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center, adds support to the d5 pawn, and controls the e4 square. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. Bf5 develops the bishop to an active diagonal where it controls the center and queen side squares. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the d5 pawn and controls the e4 square. e6 allows the dark squared bishop to develop, and supports the bishop on f5 and the pawn on d5. Nh4 attacks the bishop on f5 and allows the queen to develop on the king's side. B4 moves the attacked bishop to a central square where it attacks the g2 pawn. This kicks an opposing bishop. This moves the bishop to safety. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. This forces the opponent to double their pawns, which weakens their pawn structure. Takes back. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling queenside tends to be more active because the rook is closer to the center. It is the last book move. This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This moves the pawn to safety. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This misses a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. This overlooks a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players.